Hello and welcome to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. This is a game that people have been waiting a long time to see, so I'm not going to waste any time in jumping into the campaign. Now, first thing it's going to ask us to do in the campaign is create our character, and there are six cultures it's going to give us a chance to look at. The six cultures are, if it loads just as I'm speaking, we have the Vlandians, we have the Sturgians, the Empire, the Aseri, the Kuzates, and the Batanians. So the Vlandrians are adventurers from the west, uh, the Sturgians are descendants of foreign tribes, uh, so they're kind of hunter-gatherer type people, wanderers. We have the Empire, which is falling apart, so we would presumably be trying to put it together or gain power for ourselves there. We have the Seri, who are nomadic Bedouin people. We have the Kuzates, who again are kind of uh, nomadic, but they're more like um, tr like Mongol tribes by the sounds of it. There's, there's a lot of mounted archery, stuff like that going on. And then we have the Batanians, or Batanians who are basically um, kind of tribal warriors by the sounds of it. So, um, I quite like the idea of adventurers, because that, that kind of fits what I'm thinking. But I like, also like the idea of being in the torn apart empire. That sounds like that could be really cool. But the one I'm going to go with is the Batanians. So, Batanians still remember the olden days when the wood stretched across northern Caloradia, and the empire and its cities had yet to violate their sanctity. The fierce warriors remain loyal to their traditional ways. They paint their faces when going into battle, and even their noblemen prefer to fight on foot while using great axes and two-handed swords with deadly efficiency. So we get bonus for this. We get forest of 10% less speed penalty to parties. And the reason I want to do this is because, well, I'm kind of awful at horseback riding in, as from my experience in the game, so I'm going to try and avoid it. And this one sounds like a good idea. So now we have this guy. Um, is there just a random alt option here? Randomize all, definitely. Okay, there's some different options you can go for here. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna randomize a few more. Oh no, okay, I'm gonna go with this guy, I guess. Can we give him clothes, or is that not allowed? Um, change clothing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. That's better. Uh, anything else? Voice pitch. It doesn't play what the voice is, though. You know what? He's, he's going to have a low pitch. Definitely. And he's going to be very tall. Yeah. That, that's what we're going with. We're going to slightly adjust what we've got here. Face. We'll leave that the same. Eyes. All of that. We could, we could mess with it for hours. Do we like the hair? Uh, I don't know if we like the hair. We, we could go for something different. You can go completely... Uh, that's not quite as wild and crazy as I thought it was going to be. That's a little bit more wild than crazy. Yeah, okay. We can go with... I think kind of shorter here is fine. Let's have a look at this now. I know, it doesn't quite give off the tribal um, one quite... I think this one's better. Yeah, that's got a little bit more wild and untamed going on with it. Oh, I have lost the ability to turn. It is an early access, I should point out, so there are a few bugs, but that's all right. Markings, are we happy with this? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go. So, choose our family. Wait, we have to make a family? So we were born to into a family of members of the chieftain's uh, earth guard. Uh, healers, tribespeople, smiths, foresters, or bards. Tribespeople. I want to be tribespeople. Your family were middle-ranking members of the Batanian clan who uh, tilled their own land. Your father fought with the Kern, the main body of his people's warriors, joining in the screaming charges for which the Batanians were famous. So we get a 10 skill level and one focus point to athletics and throwing and one attribute point to control. I wish I knew what this really meant, but that's okay. We'll keep going. Our early childhood. What were we like? Definitely not my skill with horses. Um, Brawn. Yeah, I want to be able to hit things. You were big and other children looked to have you around in any scrap with children from neighboring village. Uh, from a neighboring village. You pushed a plow and throw an axe like an adult. So 10 skill level, 1 focus point to 2 handed and throwing, 1 attribute point to vigor. Sounds good to me. Like all village children, you also helped out in the field. You, you also... Uh, what did we do? You know what? We were working in the smithy. Definitely. 
You were apprenticed to a local smith. You learned how to heat and forge metal, hammering for hours at a time until your muscles ached. So basically, our father was a member of the general um, tribesman army. We were a strong and powerful child who was then put into blacksmithing, you know, increasing strength and all that sort of stuff. Sounds good to me. As a youngster growing up in Caladria, it war was never too far away. You um, joined the skirmishers? Or join the Kern. The Kern's the... Uh, that is the versatile troops who could both harass the enemy line with their javelins or join the final screaming charge once it weakened. What's the skirmishers? Young, younger recruits are those of a slighter build. Uh, well, that wouldn't be us then. Or, in, or inventory. Um, I think we're going to join the Kern like our father. Yeah. So we're harassing the enemy lines with their javelins or joining the final screaming charge once it weakened. So we get 10 skill level... One focus point to throwing and one handed, and then one attribute point to control. So we're really pushing up that control for. Th uh, so that's for throwing. Oh, it tells you what these are. So vigor represents the ability to move with speed and force. Important for melee combat. Control is um, important for ranged. Endurance is physical activity. Cunning is well being outwitting people. So that's for tactic scouting and roguery. Social is for leadership, charm, and trade. Intelligence is for being a steward, medicine, and engineering. Okay, so we're really good at throwing things. We're okay at athletics and smithing. And we're okay at two-handed and one-handed. So really, our main strength right now is chucking things at people. Okay. Before you set out for a life adventure, your biggest achievement was... Ooh. Definitely defeated an enemy in battle. Not everyone who musters for the levy marches to war, and not everyone who goes on campaign sees action. You did both. You also took down an enemy warrior in direct one-to-one -one combat, in full view of your comrades. So that pushes our two-handed up to a reasonable level. And we get an additional point in vigor as well. So maybe, is I wonder what the top point does here. So whether this one just uh, feeds down into everything else, or whether this is like a max level for everything. I don't know. Anyway, we'll find out. And then we get plus one to valor. Like many families in... Calradia. Your life was upended by the war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually you sold your property and set off of your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... Um... Well... We uh, subdued a raider, I guess. Yeah. So you were able to grab a knife in the confusion of the attack. You stabbed a raider block in your way. It definitely seems good to me. That's more of what I'm after. So we've got to six. So it's definitely not a limiter here in terms of what your points can go up to. Um, You prepare to set off of your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here's your character. Okay. So we can re-roll the name a few times. I like that it's got a random name generator. Saves me having to... Uh, Think of one. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep clicking until we find one. Boron. Yes, we're Boron. We're from Batania. We're a tribesperson. We're, uh, we were known for being brawny. Then we worked in the smithy. Then we joined the Kern. Then we defeated an enemy in battle. And we subdued a raider after our parents were killed. Cool. So, determine the game difficulty. Uh, so, what are our difficulties? So, we've got reduced to one-third... Two-thirds realistic. Now, this sounds like it should be hard, but the way it's presented is interesting. So it's presenting it saying this is very easy. But, like, should it... Oh, does it give me... It had another pop-up here. Oh, never mind. Guess not. Oh, there we go. Uh, it just tells you receive damage ratio to your troops. Normal? I guess we'll play on realistic. This might be a very bad idea. Okay, recruitment difficulty. You uh, So we can have very easy, easy or realistic. Realistic, map movement speed. Realistic, enable death. If heroes are able to die on the battlefield. Yeah? And also allocate clan member perks. Nah, we'll do anything manually. So I guess we're playing on a difficult version of the game. This may be a very bad idea. This may lead to problems, but hey. Whatever. Oh, we've got music. Oh, I like this. Brother, it's been three days now, and we've been tracking the 
uh, we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Farrak and Athene? Ath 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 um, are we up for a fight? Um, this looks to be an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time to brush off our skills. The practice will come in useful when we catch up with the raiders. Oh, definitely. Um, but first of all, so do you think we'll catch up with the raiders soon? The tracks look fresh and I've seen some smoke on the horizon. They can't move too quickly if they're still looting and raiding. No, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to rescue the little ones or die trying. Okay, how should we prepare for the fight? Well, if they're still pillaging, they may have split up into smaller groups. Hopefully we won't need to take them all on at once, but it would help if we could hire or persuade some people to join us. Okay, yeah, let's run the course. I, I need to know uh, I can fight if I have to. Oh, uh, let's go on then. Okay, so we can move. Cool. Got that. Um, so you can leave at any time by pressing tab. That's fine. So, if I head this way... Uh, yeah, I'm happy to, we're entering the training arena for sword training. So I will... Oh, let's not take it. So choose a weapon. I'm trying to find the right key. I appear to be punching it a lot. Oh, there we go. We had a pop-up. There we go. F, of course. Right. Hello there, trainer. Okay. This is this right? Nope, he did not seem to like that. Oh, there we go. Defend from up. Oh, do we just need to look up? He's not really. It's not really making itself very clear, is it? Defend from up. Oh, there we go. You just have to kind of move the camera weirdly. Yep, I've done I've done what it told me to do. Okay, let me walk away. Hello there. There we go. There we go. It just wants you to be quicker. That's fine. Cool. Go get another weapon. Of course, uh, what have we got here? Yeah, I want this one. One-handed sword. Let's go. Hello. Oh, beat the trainer. Oh, okay. Probably should have taken a shield then, huh? I'm gonna die. Oh, no. We're doing okay. I blocked this something. I blocked something. I'm dead. Alright. Well, you know, you live and learn. Uh, how about this? This might work. Hello, trainer. Right. We've got a long stick now. Oh, it's a spear. Well, still not doing well. That's okay. That looks like it should have hurt. I think the arrows on the screen are meant to be telling me where I need to defend. Or where he's planning to attack from. Nope. Yeah, probably not then. Or maybe it is and I'm just doing it wrong. No, how about I just stare at his range and just poke him with the spear? Well, I can tell that we're going to have some issues here. I got him! Aha! Nobody is better than I am at this. Obviously. Right. Uh, go to the veteran trainer. Is he over here? Must be over here. I'm still not entirely sure what all the arrows are for, but I'm sure I will learn eventually. So just, it's just where I move my mouse. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, that wasn't the veteran trainer? Where's the veteran trainer? 
Okay, we're gonna go for the horse training. Let's try this. Uh, okay. I would like a spear. Thank you. I would like a horse. Mm, there we go. Mount horse. We just have to go hit targets. So, track started. We got one. Ah, oh, this is going well. And another. And another. Nothing too wrong here. Oh. Alright, ignore it. Ignore it. Go for the next one. Way too uh, late. Way too late. You gotta swing early. Okay. I gotta say, the horses feel a lot easier to use than they did in pre when I was using them previously. Oh. Okay. Nope. That was good. Another hit. You just have to be early. Nope. That's fine. Ooh. That one's very difficult to hit. That one, not so much. Another one here. So you meant stab and then jump. Okay, well we did one half of that. Stab. Nope. Alright, never mind. I take it back. Every time I think it's hard, it's uh, easy. Every time I think it's easy, it's hard. Just that simple. Wow. Okay. And we're back. You received a penalty. Okay. I would like to leave the horse, please. I'm looking at the horse and pressing the button to leave the horse. I believe I'm stuck on the horse forever. Okay, well, we don't need any more of this. Can I please leave the horse? Let me off the horse. Alright, cool. Right. Let's leave that. And let's head over to the archery training. Okay. Archery. Let's go. Uh, we'll just use a bow. Sure. Please let me have it. There we go. Right. Hit all of the targets. Okay, that went very wide. There we go. One. Two. This seems really easy. Works kind of exactly as you would imagine. You just point and let go. Doesn't appear to be any drop here in terms of arrows. Maybe I'm wrong. This bit's a little bit more difficult. Oh, the longer you hold it, the harder it gets as well. Oh, so you have to be kind of, you have to be quick. That's good to know. So don't actually pull until you're ready to go. Nice. Well, that was easy enough. I think we've, I think we've learned enough. I'm ready to go. Let's see where it takes us. So, I guess we're off to save our family. Uh, you're at the training field, you can learn the basics of combat here. Leave. Before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're better rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. Okay, so you can explore the world by moving the cam with the WASD, uh, panning your view by right-clicking and dragging your mouse and zooming in and out of the mouse wheel. Yep. Seems about right. Okay, moving your party is done by clicking on the map. This will leave a mark on the target location. So I want to head here. I would like to head here. There we go. Cool. And we're off. So what are these? These little uh, exclamation marks, just out of curiosity. So this one is here because... We have a skill point to spend. You have a free focus point for increasing your learning limit in individual skills. Characters can earn one focus point every time they level up. Uh, I want to be better at two-handed weapons. So can I do that? I can have extra HP. Lovely. I would love extra HP. Definitely. 100%. Sounds like what I want. And then this one's our quest. Oh, I want to apply them. Definitely. Quest, travel here. We're out of food. Okay. Can do. 
So you've arrived at the village. Take a walk around. Uh, you've arrived here. Explore the location. Okay. So take a walk around. Let's see what this does. So into the village. We're here, I guess. So we need food after that. Uh, maybe some men to come with us. The headman here can probably help us. Let's try and find him. Okay. You can hold the alt left key to see the location of the headman. Hmm. Okay. Is there any way to not just ride through this town at full speed? Well, guess not. Hello. I am Mattis, headman of this village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our youngest, our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you in going after them if you'll pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. Okay. So we can leave here now if we want to. But we don't want to, do we? Or is that it? I think we do want to. Okay. Uh, so, tab. And we're back out to the main menu. Cool. One thing I want to check is actually, do we have what do we have equipped? So we have ha we have throw like, throwing axes. That's huge. Uh, we have a knobbed club, one-handed, and that's it. So we have a club, we have a shield, and we have axes. Well, luckily we're really good at throwing axes, but okay. And we have to talk to this guy again, recruit troops, and get grain. We need four troops and two grain. Okay, let's recruit some troops. So each of these costs 50. We start with 1,000. Okay. Uh, notables help you recruit more and better. High level troops according to your relation with them. So if I... These are all the same, I assume. They all seem to be the same. I'll recruit all six. Cool. Done. Nice. Now we have to talk to the headman again. But I do actually need to buy two lots of grain. So uh, I would like to buy at least two stacks of grain. I'm going to buy all three. Because I'm rich, I'm also going to buy wool and sheep. Done. Brother, we have finished our preparations. Let's talk to the headman again. He said he may have a task for us. We could use his friendship. Okay. Uh, I would... Oh, we can just speak to him here. Oh, nice. Once you've visited the place, you find all the people, then you can speak with them again. Oh, nice. That's cool. See if you have to go and actually find them each time. Glad you found what you needed. Now, about that matter I mentioned earlier... There is this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time. Name of Takios treats people for free. We're fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest and he was very mysterious about it. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though he wouldn't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you can keep an eye out for him, this Tachios, we'd be very grateful, maybe. If he's alive and well, he'll tell you about a little bit more about his quest. Okay, definitely, we can do that. I'm ready for that. So, now we've done this, uh, we have two quests. Well, we have to locate and rescue the Traveler. And if Oh, okay, look around the village to find a party that, cap that captured the Traveler whom the headman told you about. So we have to defeat three uh, parties around us. Oh, okay. So, I would like to leave with our eight troops, and I would like to attack these guys. You encounter the raider party. Attack. I'm ready. We're not going to lose this time. Okay, so we have F1 for movement and choosing charge of F3. Okay, F1, F3. Charge! Uh, okay, well we got our throwing axes out. I'm ready. Why are they going so much quicker than I am? Well, that doesn't matter. Miss. Okay. Try again. This doesn't seem like the best way to fight, but hey, whatever. Uh, let's switch to this. I think we're doing a very good job here. Um, although I'm not sure I've actually hit them at all yet. They have better maneuverability on the ground. I'd kind of prefer to be with them. 
We did it! Fantastic. I feel like I really achieved something there. Victory! We gained renown and morale. Does it tell us who got the kills? Kills. So our brother got one, our troops got five, and we got... Well, you know, it's probably incorrect. I think this is a little bit bugged. You know, it's early access after all. I'm fairly certain that we, we, we got more than zero. Um, rescuing and taking prisoners. After a hard-fought battle, you may have the choice to take some prisoners or recruit those that you have freed from your enemy. Both options are done by transferring the troops to your party with the left arrow on the left. I'd love to. Okay. I would love to recruit prisoner. How do I recruit? It doesn't let me recruit from there. Okay. Well, I've done it. Done. Oh, and then we get to choose some things. So, old fur armor. Do we? What armor do we have on right now? We have a Highlander cloak with shoulder straps, and we have woodland garments. Oh wait, these are both. These is the body armor slot. Oh, that. Oh, that. That's that's the arm arm. Wait. Oh no, because this is body armor and this is head armor. Our head armor is a scarf. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Well, is this better? This weighs less, and it provides the same armor. And provide, but the other one provides leg armor and arm armor, which we currently are, are fine with. Okay, this one, we don't have any arm armor specifically though, so we'll get that. It's okay. And then, can I give these to my party somehow? So I can take these. Okay, that's fine. Done. Cool. So we won that fight. Uh, let's go fight these guys. Chase them down. Well, they are running from us, but because we have horses, we're going to catch them. Um, now, I wanted to check for my prisoners, but we can maybe do that after this. See what we can do with them. Right, I'm ready. So, F1, F3, charge. Right. Luckily, it looks like we maybe don't have... Do we have ammo for these? Maybe we have ammo for our axes. We might need to go and get some more at some point. Maybe they just come back after the fighting. Oh, we, we got a hit in. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. Oh. Slow down. Turn around. So it looks like what they're doing is they're... Oh, we got one! We got one! Looks like what they're doing is they're going out wide and then coming back in for the next charge. Ah! I think I'm getting it now. You've won the battle. Huzzah! So, we got a kill! Fantastic. What's this? Upgrade. We got an upgrade of some kind. Whatever that means. Nice. Okay. We're going to take these guys as our prisoner. Still don't entirely know what we can do with them, but that's fine. We can somehow recruit them in the future. Uh, and we're done. Then we can have some of these. So this is not as good. This is not as good. Boots are not as good. So all of this is garbage, but we'll take it anyway because we have enough weight. Cool. So is there anything I can do with these, like... So I'm going to quit or preview. Oh, okay. We can probably sell them later. Right, catch these last set of bandits. Come on. We're going. Oh! I was wondering whether they were going to steal our kill. Right, attack. I'm ready. Charge. Charge! Now my goal is to get a single hit with this axe this fight. It looks like they recharge each fight, these axes. So you get, like, a set number per fight. We're going in behind. We got one. We got a kill. I was kind of hoping for a yeet over the shoulder, but that's all right. We got a kill with an axe. As a, with a headshot. I think there's no better achievement. Okay. Well, missed there. So we'll do a little bit of a circle out, circle back in thing. Oh, if I press alt, I can see where they are. That's neat. Oh, that was an enemy. Need to actually recognize what the symbols mean, but you know, that's fine. Right, I'm going for it. One damage delivered. Okay, not amazing, but we got the kill. Fantastic. So that is another kill for us. We still have this upgrade of some kind. Not entirely sure what that means, but all right, cool, done. I like the music. It's good. 
Uh, okay. Um, this is all stuff that we don't need, so we'll chuck that into our, like, inventory. That's fine. Done. Notification. You rescue several prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes over to you. I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. The name's Tachios. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest. But now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. I was with a caravan, and they just came out of the brush. Uh, the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, well, maybe I have a way to thank you properly. We're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? Oh, well, I'm afraid I haven't seen any children. But after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they called Radagos, took off and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band raiding around this area. If this lot has your kin, then... I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to figure out more about it, but, as I say, I've had all my urge for travelling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot would give it away for a few coins, but I got it from a mercenary whom treated it, uh, whom I treated once, and swore it was related to the Naritz's folly. I don't know what that means, except that Naritz's was, of course, the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you can find out its true value. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. Okay. We have saved Tachios. We have got a new quest to find the hideout of, Rad of Radagos, which I think we have done. But do we have enough troops to fight this, this hideout? I have no idea. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to find that all out next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider leaving a like, a comment, clicking the bell, any of that sort of stuff. Because it helps the channel grow and it helps the series grow. And I'm only going to mention it at the start of this first episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.